So, it, you know, however much you, you, you know, it's just there. You cannot avoid it. You will have a charge on the membrane. And that charge on the membrane does something useful, even in a purely prebiotic world, which is to say it will make carbon dioxide react with hydrogen to make organic molecules inside this cell-like thing, which is now got more organic molecules inside, which would include more membrane molecules and everything else. And so it, it can grow. So the whole thing from the very beginning, way before we had genes, is driven by charge and structure. Yeah, Richard, um, uh, the late Richard Borgens had, had this, uh, made this interesting point where he said that as, as soon as, so super early on, as soon as you have a membrane that segregates some, some goodies inside the organism versus outside, you can, you're likely to have a charge imbalance. And then if you get injured, so let's say the membrane gets, gets perforated, you immediately get a free vector to the side of the damage because of the short circuit of the electric field. You get, mm -hmm. and, and, that's, and you get that for free. That's a free gift from physics. You don't need uh, genomes. You don't need, uh, right, you don't need pathways. You don't need, uh, you don't need any of that. Immediately, you know where the damage was. So if you have some sort of electrosensitive um, uh, subunit as, as occurs in wound healing and whatnot, uh, it, it, it just, the physics tells you what the, what, what where, where to go to, to, to plug up the damage and so on. So I, I'm, I'm guessing there are many of these things that are just, you know, so these, these, these free gifts that we get from, from chemistry and physics, and, and then the evolution, uh, exploits those in different ways.